Hey, 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 Miss Rogers. Hello. We're in a different venue. We are. What's a venue? Uh, uh, <laughs> really? It's a, it's a place. Sometimes I use words that I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a different building. Different different location. Oh, we should like draw uh, on the hair? board. Oh, we can. We could. We, yes. The Mr. Lang and Miss Rogers show. The Mr. Lang and Miss Rogers show. Okay. Chapter five of Poor Anna. Poor Anna. Poor Anna. But she's not so poor right now because I think, if memory serves, she's happy in she, the United States. She is. With her new family. But she's learned something very, very important. Oh, definitely. Do you remember what she's learned? I do. She's remembered to ask the question. <laughs> Please. I don't understand. understand. Speak slower. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's well. I think she 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 knew that from the beginning. I right. Think. There's something else though. I don't remember. Can okay. you recap chapter I, four for me? Well, let me recap. Can you the, summarize? I can summarize. Thank you. Remember at the beginning of the story, Anna is a, a sad girl. She has problems. Yes. Right. Okay. And she thinks, I I have so many problems in my life. And then there's this opportunity to go to the United States. And mm. she thinks, if I go to the United States, there will not be any more problems. Everything will be better, yes. Right? And then she discovers that there are problems in other places as well, including the United States. Right? True. So okay. I, I'm excited for Anna to, to, to realize that no life is really perfect. Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and start. Do you want to do vocabulary first, or do you oh, want to do? That's a lot of vocabulary. It is right there. Wow, you even have like full sentences I, in there. I, I kind of had to. I had okay. To. All right, so yeah, let's do the vocabulary first. Okay. The first one is how do you say that word? Alone. 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 I'm alone. Now I'm not. I'm alone. Now I'm not. <laughs> That was very nice, Mr. Lang. <laughs> was that nice? That was nice. You know who is nice? Me. I you, mean, are, you are a nice person. Thank you. You are a very nice person. Thank you. Right? Um, when when you see me, you, you give me candy sometimes, right? Right. Right? right? Oh, my goodness. Candy. Here's some candy. Thank you. You're so nice. You're right? welcome. What's the opposite of nice? Mean. Ah. Bully. Yeah. Right? Give me my right. candy back. That was not nice. Did you brush your teeth today, Mr. I, Lang? I, God. Yeah. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. And actually, I didn't. But <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next okay. word is? Invites. Invites. Okay. So I noticed the S, mm -hmm. invites. Um, and I know that this is a verb. Oh. Okay. Okay. So. Wait, wait, wait. A mm -hmm. verb is an like an action word. Usually it's an action, not always. An not action. always. There's mm -hmm. state of beings, but yeah. this time it's, it's it's an action. It's what someone something does, right? So do, yeah. we have that S because it's it's something done by he or by she. So he invites, we're probably going to see this, he invites her or she invites him or he invites him, she invites her. Okay. But what does invites mean? Any idea? To, to ask to go somewhere. Yeah. We, Will you uh, come to the party with me, right? Or will you come to my house, right? Okay, so there's invites, then there's... Leave. Leave. What time do the students leave school usually? Well, they're supposed to leave at 2.35. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or they go to their class Eighth after. Eighth hour. Right. Very important. Right. They, they get after some... After school tutor. Extra work done. Yes. Right? But then after that, they, they leave. leave. They, they leave. Go home. Right? Every morning they leave their home, they to leave their apartment, they leave their house to go to school. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, opens, it's got an S. So maybe we're going to see uh, that he opens or she opens. So open, open. What, what are things that you can open? You can open a, your some, eyes. Oh, you can open sorry, your eyes. Sorry, okay, sorry, sorry. I was trying to find something sorry. else like this. I, was, I can I open. Had my eyes closed, but now they're open. Right. Open. And I can open this bottle. All right. Can you open a door? Yes. Open a door, close the door. Yes. Okay. Open. Wait, sorry. Open. Open. Close. Close. Open. Close. All right. Uh, dirty. dirty. Okay. Dirty. So. 
So in the chapter, you're going to see that um, somebody complains because um, a bedroom is dirty. So it's mm. the opposite of clean. clean. Oh, there's clean, right? right. Oops, I just pointed. Yes. <laughs> there's clean. So, so there's dirty and then there's clean. Okay. So mm -hmm. if, if your bedroom is dirty, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that you take a bunch of mud and like smear it all over everything. It's just not. It means that you have like clothes everywhere on the floor. Yeah. Maybe my daughter, mm -hmm. she takes her Kleenex. Ooh. She blows her nose and she, she throws it on the floor. Right? Ooh, gross. That's, that's dirty. That's dirty. That's not That's clean, gross. Right? And, and sometimes people wear shoes inside the house. Mm -hmm. And so there actually is dirt on, on your shoes, right? Mm -hmm. And it gets onto the floor. So you do need to sweep it, clean it. Okay. In fact, let me show you. Vacuum it. But if, but if in this sense, if we're saying your room is dirty. It's probably just it probably not, means clean. Not, not clean. Not clean. Not clean. Messy. Yeah. Messy. But sometimes my students get confused. What is dirt? What is dirt? So well, this is actual dirt right yes. here. Okay. But From the say, ground. Yeah. But if I say dirty, it just means not clean. Correct. Messy. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oops. Let me move us. Whoa. All right. All right. And then month. 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 So we have, we have how many months are there in a year? Twelve. Twelve. In fact, let me go back to. Yeah. Can show a calendar, maybe. What do you right. Think? There's a there's a song. Did you ever learn the song in elementary school? Um, uh, which one? <laughs> I learned a lot of songs. January, February, March, April, April May, May, June, July, August, September, October, October November, November, December. December. These are the months of the year. Oh, see, my my kids sang that, and they they always sang. Then you turn around. But I, I like yours better. Yeah. Because why do I have to turn around? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So these are the months. All right. We have 12 of them. Correct. Learn them because they are very, very important. Okay? Yes. And in order. All right. If you speak Spanish, you have an advantage because they're very similar in oh, Spanish. That's nice. I don't know about, about the other languages. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, she, she shakes her hand. Now, shake, now you're shaking your head. Oh. Okay. All right. No. No. I'm shaking so, my hands. Sh so when you meet someone for the first time, yes. this is what you do. Oh. Shake hands. Wait, nice to, to meet go, you. You have to go. They can't see what we're doing. Oh, uh, uh, I can never do this. Okay. There we go. Shake hands. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? I'm Mrs. Rogers. Nice to meet you, Mr. Nice Lang. Meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. All right, good. And then we've got mm. ma'am mm. with that little uh, flying comma. You no, it it's an apostrophe. 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 All right, so we have a, an apostrophe right up there. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, do you who do you call ma'am? Um, someone, I, a woman, a woman, a female, mm -hmm. not a girl, but a woman, an older woman who I want to show respect to. Okay, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, ma no, ma'am, yes, no, ma'am. Ma okay, so it, it's not man, n n it's ma'am, ma'am. Okay, all right, and then I think when we shook hands, when we did this. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too, right? So one person says, it's nice to meet you. Someone else says, it's nice to meet you too. T -O -O. Don't we have another also, chant about that somewhere? It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Yes, it's nice to meet you too. Oh, no, no, that one. No. Do you know that one? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I may have borrowed. It's nice to meet you. Have a nice day. Is, wasn't it? No, okay, that's that's have a mind. nice weekend. Thanks you too. Oh, have a nice weekend. Thanks you okay, too. Okay, I'm getting confused. You, yeah, okay. that's all right. Do you want to read first? I'm um, sure I'd love to. All right, we're going to read chapter, chapter five. five. Anna wakes up the next day and goes to the gym alone. Exercise. She meets a girl at the gym. Oh, the girl's name is Nancy. Nancy. Nancy is very nice. Nice. She invites Anna to her house. After exercising for an hour, the two girls leave the gym and go to Nancy's house. All right, a lot has happened. Yeah. This is this is exciting. It is. Because Anna has made her first friend. I mean outside of the the family. The Martin family. Yes. Right? I mean Jana is her friend too, but this is this time Anna is all independent she goes just by herself and yeah. she makes a friend yes. that is that is huge it's big. and i'm glad that nancy is a nice girl right this is right. exciting I'm really happy okay and and this is 
Her first time in the gym or the second time? Do you remember? Second time because Susan took Anna uh, right. to the gym and mm-hmm. then they went to the park and right. various places. I think they went to the bank. Didn't the they bank. go to the bank? Right. All right. So now they are at Nancy's home. Nancy's a nice girl. I hope everything will turn out okay. We'll see. All right. Nancy opens the door. Opens the door. Nancy and Anna go into the house. Nancy's mom hears them. She yells at her daughter. Nancy, your bedroom is dirty. You need to clean it. Sorry, mom. I have a new friend. Her name is Anna. Anna is from Mexico. She's here for three months. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So wait. Sorry, I had to go on. I know that's that's great, but um, I'm I'm just amazed that Nancy's mom yelled at her. Right. Because I thought Anna's mom was the only mom that yells. Mm. Uh, Raise your hand if your mom has ever. I'm not. I didn't finish. I thought you just said raise your hand. Sorry. Raise your hand if Mm. your mom has ever yelled at you to clean up your room. Yeah. I think it's everybody. I, I think so. Yeah. I think so. Or clean up something. Or right. Wash your hands. Or brush your teeth. Brush your hair. Uh, okay. okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So so uh, she, she says, oh, mom, I have a new friend. Her name is Anna. She's from Mexico. She's here for three months. Okay. Yeah. Nancy's mom comes into the living room and looks at Anna. She shakes her hand and says, it's nice to meet you, Anna. Welcome to the United States. Thank you, ma'am, Anna says. It's nice to meet you, too. All right, so ma'am, ma'am mm-hmm. is, is uh, what, what, what we say to, uh, to women if we respect them, right? What do we say to a guy, to a, oh, a male? Oh, that's a good question. Sir. Oh, sir. sir. S-I-R, sir. sir. Sir, yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, ma'am, mm-hmm. right, ma'am. By the way, ma'am, if you speak French, some of you speak French, it really comes that that apostrophe there is is to cover the the, the D in madam, oh, madam, yes. right, madam, madam, right? Yeah. Just so you know. Okay. All right. Uh, where are we? Anna, is it me? Uh, I think it is. No? The last paragraph. Yes. All right. Anna and Nancy go to Nancy's bedroom. They sit on the bed and talk. Anna doesn't un... understand. Keep understand. Going. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You Sorry. Understand much, but she understands a little. So she still has some problems understanding everything. It takes a while, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? That's, yeah. It's hard to do. It takes lots of work. Do you think should we should we uh, continue the the yes, story? Absolutely. I think we should. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, do you like the United States? Nancy asks her. Yes, I like it, but I don't understand much English. I need more time in the United States, Anna says. Do you like American music? Nancy asks Anna. Yes, I like it. I like music in English. I like all kinds of music. I also like to dance. Are there dances here? Asks Anna. Yes, there are a lot of dances. I like to dance too, says Nancy. Okay, now I need to explain something. Uh, She says, are there dances here? Here, uh, so we have the verb dance. Do you like to dance? Dance, I like to dance, 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 dance. Like Justin Timberlake music. I, I like that song a lot. Did you know that? Yes, I, I do. <laughs> you did. Okay, uh, because I can play that song for you if you want. But but she says, "Are there dances here?" And what what they're talking about mm-hmm. is uh, what we call a school dance. So um, maybe they open up the the auditorium. They open up the cafeteria. The they, gym. The gym. Let's not have a school dance in the auditorium. Why did I say auditorium? That was very I don't, strange I don't of me. Know. Actually, I'm sorry. That's okay. My brain That's okay. went to just, yeah, yeah, not the auditorium. <laughs> the classroom. <laughs> in my class. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so the <laughs> the the gym or the the cafeteria. Uh, so they. They, they have some music, maybe they have some food, um, and there's some, some space for people to, to get up and dance, 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 dance. Okay. okay. All right. Perfect. So she says, are there dances here in the United States? Um, and Nancy says, yes, there are a lot of dances. I like to dance too, says Nancy. What kind of food do you like? Nancy says, I like all kinds of food. I like hamburgers, Mm, hot dogs, and pizza. Mm -hmm. In California, everyone eats pizza. Mm -hmm. 
Everyone goes to Pizza Hut and Domino's. I think all my friends like to eat pizza. Hmm. What do you eat in Mexico? All right, lots of good questions.、Mm-hmm. Lots of good questions. I guess we'll get into the different kinds of food later. Yeah,、so. let's just finish yeah, this yeah. off. Oh, why not? Okay.、Yeah. We eat tacos, burritos, enchiladas. We eat a lot of tortillas and all kinds of fruit. Says Anna. She doesn't mention the chocolate. Did you notice that? Yeah, yeah, she does. <laughs> I like tacos. Says Nancy. What is your school like? Is it a good school? All right, let's stop there. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's look at at our list of、so okay. all kinds of music. In English, we say kinds, kinds of music. Uh, kinds of what else? Kinds of food. Food kinds. What of, kinds of fruit do you like? Kind. Yeah. Yeah.、Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess. Okay. <laughs>、um, so, what does that mean? All kinds of music. A variation. Yeah.、Like. Do you, Do you like、uh, Do you like rock music, Miss Miss、uh, Rogers? Yes, I、yeah. could listen to rock、yeah. music. Do you like heavy metal? No,、music? I do heavy not. Metal? Like heavy metal. <laughs> Right. No, no that's、like、a that. little too、no. much for me. Do you like classical music? I do like classical. I do too. Yeah, I do. Do you like jazz music? I really like jazz. Yes.、Music. Yes. Yeah. Do you like rap music, Miss Rogers? Um. Sometimes it has too many bad words in. Do you like, Do you like rap rap music that has、uh, good words、yes. in it? Right. Yeah, I can handle that. Yeah. Um. Do you like pop music? I, I like. Justin Timberlake, I think. Oh right, that's, yes, that's, yes. That, that is a. And you a, do. Right? Okay. Right. So, do you, do you like um? Do you like Mexican music?、Um, some of it. Some、yes. of it. Yeah. I yeah. I can do some some dancing. Can you? I can. Can you, can you do salsa? I can salsa. Salsa, right? And merengue. Can you really? And cumbia. It's been、wow. a while. It's been a long time. Please,、while. please show us. Not no, maybe no, later. No, okay. We we have to get through these chapters. So, yeah. So some people don't like all kinds of music. They maybe they like one kind of music. Maybe they like country music. Do you know? Do you I like, don't like don't country, country music. music no. My dog <laughs> died. Why did my dog die? Because my fish died and my mom died and my there's yeah, it's yeah. just too. But、much. did you know, Miss Rogers? A lot of English learners like country music. Do they? Because it's slow. Oh, that and, makes sense. And they can understand it. That、so、makes sense. Um, so kinds is a, a variety. It's,、yeah. You're just trying to find out. You have a you have a big list of something,、mm-hmm. and then you're trying to narrow that down of yep. what. Yeah, there are、okay. all kinds of people in the world, right?、Yes. There are、uh, tall people and short people, and happy people and angry people, right? So different variation. Not every person is the same, correct? Right? Not every music. Is the same. So all okay. kinds. All okay. Kinds. All right. And then we got the dances.、Uh, dances. So yeah, we have school dances. Like、uh, we recently had homecoming. Homecoming、uh, is is a is a weekend where they have a big football game, and usually there's a dance. Okay.、Mm-hmm. Uh, what kind of food do you like? Well, that was one of the questions. What kind of、Correct. food do you like, Miss Miss Rogers? Ah.、Uh, do you like Mexican food? I do like Mexican food. I like Mexican food. food. Do you、yeah. like Chinese food? I really like Chinese food. I, I prefer Thai food. Oh, Thai food's good. Do you good, like Thai food? But I don't like spice. You don't like spice. I don't like well, things you, that are spicy. You can get things that are not spicy. Yes, yes.、Mm-hmm. So I will. I do like Thai food. Do you like?、Uh, do you like hot dogs and hamburgers? I I do. Yeah. 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 You like、um, salad? I I eat a salad every day. Do you really? I、good、do. That's、you. my lunch. That's good.、Um, okay, and then we have. Do you like these... tacos? I really, really, really like tacos.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, in in Phoenix we have. Uh, something called Taco Tuesdays. So、yes. a lot of the the restaurants will will give discounts on tacos every Tuesday. So a lot of people say, "Oh, it's Tuesday, gotta eat tacos."、It's、yes, Taco Tuesday.、Mm-hmm. We have that in our school cafeteria too. That's true. Yeah, that's true. All right, so we've got. I, I think everyone knows pizza, but you know what? Let me just go to Google Translate real really quickly. Oh, we'll, we'll okay. Just, we'll just get these these. So I was listening to the radio this morning, and they were talking about gross things on food. Mm-hmm. And、um, someone put mustard on his pizza. Would、hmm. you ever do that? That doesn't sound terrible. Doesn't sound terrible.、Yeah. Someone else, there's pizza.、Yeah. Someone else would put、um, a lemon pepper spice on their pizza. Lemon pepper spice. Yeah. That doesn't sound bad. Here's here's what's crazy.、Um, I I have recently discovered that peanut butter goes with everything. You'd put peanut butter on pizza? 
Maybe I, I would, but I, have you ever tried it on a hamburger? No. Yeah, seriously, seriously. Let me. Everyone's. I win. love peanut butter. Peanut butter hamburger? No way. It's, it's amazing. You should try it. Okay, I will. Yeah, try Wait, it and let us okay, know. Okay, scroll down one. Sorry, we have to see the peanut butter, the egg. Which one? Oh, that one, one right there. That looks good it to me. It is so good. Yeah. The egg on a hamburger is really good. Okay. With peanut butter. Okay. Just we'll try see. it. Just try it. And then tell me. Okay. Tell me how, how amazing it is. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Tacos. Uh, so some of our friends. We've talked about this before. But they might not know what if, if, if we say tacos. What's a taco? You got to visualize it. Right. No, so so there's like American tacos. Yes. Oh, we right. Yeah. We talked about. Because we have Taco Bell. Taco Bell. That's so right. So we, we That's talked right. about tacos right. before. But, burritos. Put in a burrito. Burrito. Yeah. You're saying it like a gringa. Well, okay. I am. Burri my, burritos. Do you know what <laughs> my maiden cool. name was before I got married? I don't know. It was Burrit. B U R R I T T. So my students used to joke around Ms. and call me Miss Burrito. Burrito. Okay, because it's similar. That's funny. All right. There's so burritos. burritos. Those are those are really good. Mm -hmm. If you live in Phoenix, you should you should eat these foods because they're, they're all here. over. Enchiladas. Okay. I, like I, enchiladas. I, I you don't, like, don't enchiladas? like enchiladas because I don't like the sauce. You can eat it without the sauce. True. I don't these like the red mm. and enchilada sauce. I wish I wish we weren't looking at this because. Gonna, just makes me want to eat. Lunch? I don't know. That's a yeah. good question. Okay. Uh, tortillas. tortillas. All right. Now, if you are not a Spanish speaker, I'm going to tell you something. The double L, the LL in Spanish is a Y. So it's not tortillas, but tortillas. Tortillas. That's the gringo way. Tortillas. Tortillas. Yes. I'm probably still saying it tortillas. wrong. Tortillas. These are tortillas. They're made of flour or corn. corn. I like the. And when I say flour. I like the. Like you're right. Right. Spell it correctly. Ah, uh, there we go. Um, I like flour tortillas more than I like corn tortillas. So that's hmm. flour. F L O U R. You use that when you're baking. Yep. Or cooking. Yep. All right. Okay. And then, uh, okay. So. What is your school like? So you have a question on there. Yeah, because. The reason I put this is, is I think a lot of students get confused with the word like, because mm. we have like, like, I like chocolate. Mm. I like chips, whatever these are, crackers, right? Mm -hmm. um, I like Fridays, I like ice cream. But this one is, what is your school like? Oh. And what does that mean? What is your school like? So that's asking to describe mm -hmm. your school. Yeah. It's not what do the students like? Oh, they like spelling tests or they <laughs> no. they, they they like uh, homework. No. So right. so our school where we teach mm -hmm. is um, it's a it, small. It's school. a small school. A lot of a lot of my students say, "Oh, this is a big school," and I say, "No, not, it's not compared very... to anybody else. Yeah. We're the small school, and we have like I like our brick buildings." Yeah. Um, we have it's, brick buildings. It's, it's a, would you say it's a it's a it's a nice campus? It looks nice. Yes. Right. It's we have clean. The right? school is. We have a new cafeteria. We have, yeah, we have a beautiful cafeteria. Mm -hmm. uh, we can also talk about the the people there. So the the students are nice. The yes. the teachers are nice. Yes. Right. The the principals are nice. The 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 people that work there are nice. It's a nice school. Correct. Um, is it a difficult school? Sometimes. What do you mean by difficult? Like, uh, are the are the are the classes difficult? Are they challenging? They should um, be. Yeah. Yeah. Do the students have to work hard? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if if we're explaining what something is like, we're explaining. Uh, we're just saying, tell me about. Tell me about your school. Tell me about it. Yeah. Okay. What okay. is your school like? Tell me about your right. school. Got it. And we can ask this about anything. If I meet someone from a different country, maybe the person is from Congo, and I say, mm -hmm. oh, what is Congo like? So tell me about Congo, right? Yeah. Or um, if I meet someone and I say, well, tell me about your family. What is your family like? Got tell me it. about your family. Okay. Tell me about your home. What is your home 
like. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Now we were finishing that last sentence. Okay. Yeah. So at the very end, it says, tell me about your school. Hey, that's funny. We just said that. Tell yeah. me about your school. Tell me about your childhood. <laughs> Sometimes we say that, right? So. Okay. Tell me about your past. Okay. Uh, is it me? Yes. My sir. school is a good school. You know why? Because she has Mrs. Sanchez. Mrs. Sanchez is a good teacher. It's a private school. Most schools in Mexico are private schools. It's not a big school, but it's a good school, Anna explains. Okay. Do you want to talk about private school? I think we should. Okay. So we, we have private schools and public schools. All over the world, there are private schools and public mm -hmm. schools. Uh, here in the U.S., if you go to a private school, somebody has to pay. Usually the, the parents will pay mm -hmm. uh, so that their children can go to these schools. Um, and what, what is uh, good about private schools? Uh, usually uh, the, the, um, the classes are, are challenging. Um, there aren't a lot of uh, discipline problems. Uh, the, the teachers can be very strict. A lot of times the private schools are also religious schools, so the, the teachers uh, are, are able to talk about things like the, if it's, for example, if it's a Christian school, they might talk about the Bible. Uh, they might talk about Christian beliefs. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's, that's for, a, for a religious school. Right. All right. And a public school? What would you say about a public well, school? Well, our schools are public schools. Mm -hmm. So anyone can go. We have the, the right mm -hmm. to a free and public education. Mm -hmm. So every child in the United States from the age of six, five, five or six, five or six uh -huh. till they're um, 18 can go to a public school. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> they are really run by our government. Our yeah. government has the final say. Right. Yeah. Right. So if I send my children to a public school, how much money do I have to pay? Zero. It's free. It's free. It's free. <laughs> It's free. It's completely free. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely, absolutely free. free. Okay. Yes. All right. And then um, should we, let's talk about this. Okay. Uniforms. Uniforms. Mm. Okay. So at a public school, do students usually have to wear uniforms? Now, some of you might be saying, what are uniforms? No, they have um, a dress code. So what you're allowed to wear in school is different than what you can wear, say, when you're hanging out on the weekends. Mm -hmm. So you know, these are these are school uniforms. These are school uniforms. These are typical school uniforms. Okay? And, and and they look happy. They look happy. Right. Miss Rogers, a lot of my students um, come from a from private schools in, mm -hmm. in their countries and, and they say to me, Why don't we have school uniforms? It would be better to wear school uniforms. Right. And I always say, Well, you know what? You can wear school uniforms. It's okay. <laughs> yes. Right? you you are allowed to. Right. Um, and and a lot of people have uh, have fights about school uniforms. They say school uniform. Some people say they're good. It's good if if uh, students have to wear them. Right. Other people say no, they're not good. Uh, and we can have that discussion another time. Right. But uh, I think there are there are good things and bad things about. So private school schools uniforms. have uniforms. That's Public true. schools really don't. Some mm -hmm. of our elementary schools do. By the way, they do. They have uniforms. Um, some of the public elementary schools, not all. Okay. Um. So, yeah, let's read about it. <laughs> let's just do that. All right. Um, so uniforms, and, and as Ms. Rogers said, usually in private schools, or often in private schools, the students have to wear uniforms. Um, Anna is going to say something like this. She's going to say, we're used to uniforms. Okay. We're used to. So the er is, of course, are. Uh, we are used to uniforms. Um, so I want to talk about what used to means in this sentence. Okay. All right. So if something is normal, remember the word normal, mm -hmm. um, then you are used to it. So imagine it. Anna's first day in the United States. Was everything normal no, for her? No. Her, yeah. her eyes were probably really big, right? What is going on? She felt like she couldn't understand everything, right? She was not used to uh, living in the United States. Mm -hmm. Now, one day, two days, three days, a week later, two weeks later, everything becomes more and more normal. So uh, my students uh, that are here in the United States, most of them, after a little while, are used to uh, their new life. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Anna, when when Anna goes to school in in Tepic in Mexico, 
She doesn't complain, ah, I have to wear a uniform again. No, right? she's, she's used to wearing that uniform. She's used to it. That's she's normal used to for it. her. Okay. okay. And then she is going to talk about a religious school. Um, and often religious schools are private schools. Right. You have to pay. Okay. All right. I forget who was reading. Uh, Nancy is surprised to hear that Anna goes to a private school. Mm. She says, there aren't very many private schools in California. Almost everyone goes to a public school. Hmm. In some parts of the United States, there are more private schools, but there aren't many private schools in California. We don't have uniforms. Do you like uniforms? Oh, there was a lot there. There was. Yes. Okay. But we covered it all because yeah, it's yeah. the public school, the private school, mm -hmm. and the uniforms. Yeah. The, the only thing that I want to mention is Nancy says there aren't very many private schools in California. Okay. So it, it seems like maybe you're, there are, you're I'm, sorry, picture, I'm sorry, okay. I kept doing this too. Uh, so it, it seems like maybe there are more private schools in Mexico than, than there are in the United States. Yes. So, yeah. All right. Um, all right. So let's continue. This is Anna. Yes, I like them. We all have uniforms. We don't have different clothing. It's good. We're used to the uniforms. Our school is a religious school. It's a Catholic school. We study religion in school, says Anna. Mm. So um, a Catholic school, there are different types of religion. Mm -hmm. There are all kinds of religion. That's true. Right? That's true. And so some people are Christian. Some people are Catholic. Some people are Protestant, some people are Lutheran. Those are all religions. So the Catholic religion um, is what there are some pictures of that right now. Yeah. Lots of uh, it, the when it's, you go to church on Sunday, it's called mm -hmm. a mass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we, we we could spend hours and hours we talking could. about it, but we're not going to. <laughs> I don't think I went to a Catholic school. Did you really? Um, for one year. Okay. In first grade. Okay. And then um, I taught at a Catholic school for my very first year teaching. That's interesting. Yeah. For one year. Yeah. And and uh, what do we call the the, the women um, that teach in the Catholic schools? And they, they, they wear Nuns. the... Nuns. Yep. They and then the, the, the males like are, are priests. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a lot of vocabulary with that. Yeah. But, yeah. So we can... Um, we can assume, we can make an inference that Anna is Catholic. Maybe she's Catholic. We don't know. No, we don't know, we but don't you know. can infer that she yeah. went to a Catholic yeah. school. And some people go to a Catholic school and they're not Catholic, right. but yeah, it's possible. Okay. All right. Uh, is it me or you? I don't I already mm. Ah. Oh, we're almost done looking yeah, at Yeah, we are. Okay. At my school, we don't have... Okay, okay. this is Nancy. Nancy. I think it's... Yeah. Oh, is it me? At my school, we don't have religion classes, says Nancy. We have six classes. We go to one classroom for one subject, and then we all go to different classrooms for different subjects. Mm, By the way, a lot of my students tell me this. Well, oh, it's so different in the United States because in the U.S., the students move from place to place. In other countries, the teacher moves. Wow. So the students stay in their own place, right? And the teacher comes. So they're all in one classroom. and. You know, for maybe one hour, the math teacher is in there doing his thing or her thing. And, and then I wouldn't like that English as a teacher. teacher. <laughs> I wouldn't either. I, I like having my stuff in my place. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I like our system better. Right. But what about you? What do you like better? Sit and discuss. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. And um, are we on the very last I line think, then? I think we are. Okay. You ready to turn the page? I, I'm ready. Okay. All here right. we go. I'm ready. We don't go to other classrooms. The teachers go to different classrooms, says Anna. Just what okay. I said. Just what I said. Exactly. Right? The teacher moves from. So imagine Mrs. Sanchez, right? She went into the classroom that Anna is always in, mm -hmm. right? And she gave that speech about uh, how they could go to the United States, right? That was in Anna's classroom. Okay. Nancy and Anna talk for a long time. Anna is very happy. Nancy speaks very slowly, and Anna understands. When Nancy speaks fast, Anna doesn't understand. They talk for two hours. Then Anna goes home. At night, Anna goes to bed and quickly... <sighs> oh, sorry, sorry. I fell asleep. Uh, where was I? And Anna... Oh. At night, Anna goes to bed and quickly... 
<laughs> Falls asleep. Am I ready to sleep? Uh, that was kind of boring. Okay, so slowly. I, I think we've talked about that, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Please speak slower. Please speak slowly. Okay. Um, and then falls asleep. This is this is when you know, yeah. one eyes open, one eyes closed, and okay. So when you go from awake to asleep, you, you fall, fall asleep. asleep. And that was chapter six. I yes. really enjoyed chapter six. I did. And I feel like I've learned a lot. I have as well. I hope you have too. I'm sure they have. Until next time. Bye. Bye.